Most of you thank you very much, Member from the North Padre. You must look at the world from the farmers. And here is our key for you to have every, every, every Tuesday. And the intention of this class is actually to make Africans, wherever they are, to actually learn one of the very vital mongers when it comes to our unification as an African. Language is so yes, I am a because of my child, and which is Um, brother P Pigeon, yeah, you're, you're kind of coming in and out with the sound, you're uh, clear, then you go out, then you come back, and then you go out again. Let me see, you can hear me now. I'm trying to see if I can say that. It's slightly better now. Okay, so can I proceed? Yeah, that's better. Okay, thank you very much. So I was saying that uh, we, with this, uh, our study class, which is one of the main three classes we have in conscious in study class, and this is for Kiswahili class. So we've been having two, almost three classes in the past where we have been actually sharing about uh, uh, the introduction to vowels in Kiswahili. In the last class was uh, consonants in Kiswahili. And today we'll go to the second part of consonants because uh, if you realize we were not able actually to finish the consonants parts. So we did the main consonants, but we did not do the the, 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 the the, 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 the combined consonants like we did in Kiswahili. So here we're only dealing, dealing with one letter. So for Kiswahili, for today class, we'll be dealing with either combined letters. As you can see in the screen, that's what we did last class. I'm reading the letter B, letter D, letter F, letter G, letter H, letter J, letter K, letter L, letter M, letter N, D, R, F, T, V, W, Y, Z. And for example, the letter B in Kiswahili is, is called, we do it as ba. So the letter B in Kiswahili pronounce it as ba. Then the letter, the letter, let me go back there. I'm trying to find some challenges trying to to work on this device. Trying to see how does it work out. Apologies for that technical error. I don't know what what are you able to say. Are you still seeing the book? Yeah, we can see the book. Okay. As another, I'm not able to see the book, so I'm trying to work out how I can be able to get back to that. Trying to find it very hard. Let's see what you can be able to do. Yeah, now I found it. Thank you. Sorry for that. Now I found what I was looking for. So I was saying in our last class, of course, we were reading various 
letters, we are learning various letters, pronunciation of various letters. From letter B, which is pronounced as the same in English, the word big, big, B. So it becomes Baba. And the letter D is like the word day, day, day. So in Kiswahili we say Dada. And we have letter F, which is F. In Kiswahili, it's like how we say it in English, the word far. In Kiswahili we say fi, fishing, fisi, feni, fisi, feni. And we have the letter G, which we pronounce the same way we pronounce in English, the letter go, go. So G in Kiswahili more of go, go. So we say granny, go, go. Granny, go, go. And then the letter H is hot. In Kiswahili we say easy, heavy. Letter J is like in the word ja, so you say jana or juicy. The letter K is like in the word keep, K, 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 keep. So you say the word kesho or the word kijiko. And the letter L, you say the same way you say in the word lion. So you say leo or lake. But leo, so you say leo or lake. Leo or lake. So the letter L. Then the letter M. The same way pronouncing the word moon. We say we say moja or mama. The letter N, just the same way pronouncing the letter not. We say in the word not, we say neno or nani. Nef. Nena. N. Neno or nani. P is the same. Paka or kwani. Papa. Paka R is the same. Ra. Rangi roho. The same way we say in the word reiko. Then you have S as the word S. Sisi or Sabbath. Sisi or Saba. In the letter T, just in the same word top, we say Chano or Chendo. In the letter V, pronounce the same way pronounce it in the word very, we say VP or Vazi. Then the letter W, we say Wa, 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 we say Wa, like in the word We, We, Wo. So we say Wale and Wewe. In the letter Y, we say in the same way we say in the letter Yes, we say Yule or Yai. Then Z, in the same way we say in the letter Zu, we say Zawadi or Zaidi. That's what we learned in our last class. Unless there's any question in regards to that last class before we move to the class today, or our lesson for today. Is there any question? No. Thank you, Valerie. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, sister, sister Maria, you are not here in the last class. Do you find any difficulty or any concern to ask any question in regards to those pronunciation of those letters? No, because I've I've watched the last the first two videos, so I've caught up now. How are those videos? Are they are you able to learn what you are saying even by the videos? Yes, uh, it was uh, it was enough content for me to understand and learn, so I feel comfortable going on to the next section. Thank you. So in our next section, we'll be moving to the combinations of consonants. Like the same way we did the combinations of vowels, we'll be doing the combination of consonants. So, for example, we'll start with the letter most common combined words in Swahili. Most common one is the letter CH. But we'll pronounce it as ch, ch, ch like in the word choice. So, CH in Kizuri come like ch. In the word choice. How you pronounce the word choice is how you pronounce CH in Kizuri. It comes like ch. So, we say chakula. Ch, chakula or chumba. Chumba. <laughs> So the same way you say choice is the same way you pronounce the CH in Kiswahili, the, the word chakula or chumba. Then BH, BH, the same way you pronounce the word ada, da, da, ada, that da. So BH in Swahili is like da, da. It comes out like the letter da. The, 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 the letters come out as a sound da. For example, in the word ada. That da. So th in Kiswahili is da. So we'll say fe da. Aida. So fe da or aida. So you can say it slowly. Fe da or aida. So th is da. Just in like in the same word aida. Then we have gh. Gh 
before they use the French here, but GH comes as the word GA. 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 So GH combined comes like the word GA. We'll say GALI. GALI. Or yeah. GOROFA. GO. GOROFA. So GH comes like the word GA. GALI or GOROFA. GO. GOROFA or GA. GALI. So that's how the letter GH is pronounced in, in, in Kiswahili. The letter KH is pronounced in Kiswahili as ha, ha, ha. We say ha, 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 ha. So in the letter KH, you'll ignore in the pronunciation, you'll, you'll ignore the word K, but pronounce the word H. So the K in pronunciation become more of silent. So we'll say al hamisi, al hamisi, al hamisi. So you realize that we ignore the K in that pronunciation. We we'll say al hamisi. Or in the word Khadija, we'll not say Khadija, we we'll say Khadija. So I know there's that artist, uh, uh, an English artist called Khadibi. We we'll say Khadibi. So the word KH in the pronunciation will pronounce, will tend to ignore the word K, but pronounce more the word H. So we'll say Al Hamisi or Khadija. Instead of Khadija, we'll say Khadija. Instead of Al Hamisi, we'll say Al Hamisi. So the letter K disappears in the pronunciation. But in the texting or in the writing, you must include the letter K in the writing. But in the pronunciation, you tend to ignore it. You tend to lower its intonation and raise the intonation of H. So basically, it's like you pronounce the H instead of KH, but in the writing, you must write them together. So you say Al Hamisi or Hadija. In the letter SH, it's SH. So you say SHIP, like in the word SHIP. So in Swahili, you say SHUKA. SHUKA. SHUKA or SHAURI. SHAURI. So like the same way you pronounce the letter S H in the word sheep, that's the same way it's pronounced in Swahili. Shika or Shauri. And the letter T H is the same way we pronounce it in English, like the word think. T H think. So we'll say te latini, te latino, or te luji. Te latini. Te latini. Or the word teluji, teluji. So TH will be pronounced the same way you pronounce it in English, in the word think. So it comes like. So you say telatini or teluji. So these one are very heavy words a bit, and I'll repeat again what I'm saying. I'll start with the letter CH. So in the letter CH in Swahili, we pronounce it as ch. Like in the word choice, ch. Like in the word choice, then you will say chakula, chumba, chakula, chumba, chakula, chumba. When the letter DH will come like the word, like in the word edda, v, edda, v, edda. So we will say feda, feda, or aida, aida. So DH is D, like in the word Eida. So you'll say Eita this or this. So we'll say Feta or Aida. And the letter GH, I've said, you pronounce it Gali. Gali or Gorofa. So in the GH, in the GH pronunciation, you will tend more to ignore the letter H in the pronunciation. H. So it becomes Gali. Of course, you put the letter H, you will say Gali. You will say Gali. And you say Gorofa. Gorofa. Without giving more stress on the letter H. So the way you give the more stress is the letter G. Which comes like Gali. Gali. Gorofa. Then the letter KH now, we tend to give less stress in the letter K. But give more stress in the letter H in the pronunciation. Then we'll be saying Al Hamisi. Instead of Al Hamisi, we'll not pronounce the K. We lower the K, then we pronounce more the letter H. We'll say Al Hamisi. 
or in the word Khadija would say Hadija. The K gets silence. You say Hadija. But in the pronunciation, it is included. Just that the letter K is less pronounced. Like the intonation is very less than the K. We give high intonation in the letter H in that combination of the letter K and H. Then in the letter, in the letter, we say SH, where we have the word sh. We pronounce it the same way as ship. Ship. Then we say like shuka, shauri, shauri, or we we'll say shule, shule, shule. Shule is not included here, but we we'll say shuka, shauri, or shule. Then the letter T H will come out as in the word king. So you say two. So you say Telu Telatini. Telatini or Teluji. So the letters are Cha Ga Ga Ka Sh Ta. So there's Da or Feather and Ta. There's difference between the letter DH and the letter TH. The letter DH is coming out as letter DA, DA, where the letter TH is coming out as letter TA. So there's DA and TA. In the word DA, we say FEDA, but in the TA, we say TELATINI or TELUJI or TAMANINI. So that's how the intonations change. So we say CHA, DA, GA, KA, SHA, TA. Cha, da, ga, ha, sha, pa. Cha, da, da, ga, ha, sha, pa. Cha, kula, or chumba. Feda, or aida. Gali, or gorofa. Alhamisi, or kadija. Shuka or Shauri, Telatini or Teluji. So before I move further, I like us to check our understanding in regards to that. Then we we'll move to another consonant M. So let's start with the so numbers. So uh, let me check the the two numbers for those numbers who are. Oh, uh, right to speak. So let's start with Valerie. Valerie. Shakula, Chamba, Feda, Aida, Gali, Garofa, uh, Alamishi, Kadidia. We don't, say, we, don't say, sorry, we don't say Khadija. We say we ignore the letter K. We say Khadija. Khadija. Yeah, like Hadija. in the word Al Hamisi. Yeah. We don't say Al Khamisi. We say Al Hamisi. Yeah. Khadija. Yes. Khadija. Shaka. Shuka. 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 Shuri. Shauri. 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 Yes, Shauri. Telathini. Correct. Telaju. Telaju. Teluji. 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 Yes, correct. Thank you for that. Let's go to Brother Inumi. Can you repeat for us the same words? Uh, Sorry, I can only listen in. I'm on the road. Oh. It's okay, it's okay. We'll excuse you. Yeah. Then let's go to... Let me check my attendance list. Let's go to Brother Gilroy. I'm going to do my best, but I'm not... Uh, we'll uh, try. I'll be here to help you. Chakulua. Chakula. Chakulu. Kula, Chakula, Chumba, Chumba, Chakula, mm -hmm. Chumba, correct. Feda, 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 Adia, Aida, 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 mm -hmm. Gali, 
Yes. Go. Uh, sorry. Go hoof, hoofa. These are arder. Go this gorofa. Go hoofa. Go rofa. Can you pronounce the letter R? The gorofa. 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 Yes, the letter R. Gorofa. Gorofa. Yes. Uh, 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 Alamasi. Alamasi. Alhalisi. Alamasi. Al Al no. Al-ha-misi. Misi, not masi. Al-misi. Yes, al-misi. Yes. Misi, al-misi. Yes. Uh, Adeja. Yes, Adeja. Shuka. Yes, Shuka. Shahuri. Shahuri, correct. Uh, tel, uh, uh, tahali. Tel, no, Tel-a-kini. Tel tel Telaini. Telaini. No, we have the two T's here. There's the first T, which is Tela, then Tini. Uh -huh. So there's Tela, Tini. Tini. Tela, Tini. Tini. No, you are, you, are, you, are not, you are not pronouncing the letter TH in the second pronunciation. You are doing the TH in the first, but you wanted to do uh -huh. the TH in the second TH. So the first TH is Tela, then the second one Tela. is Tini, Tini. Tini, Tela Tini. Tini, yes, Tela Tini. Tela Tini. Correct. And uh, Tela Ja. Telu, this is not lie, it's Lu. Tel, or the U, Teluja, Teluja. Teluji, G. G. Yeah, G. Teluji. So can you repeat it, Teluji? Teluji. Yes, that's correct, Teluji. Teluji. Yeah, if you, if you, didn't, yeah. If you, didn't, if you didn't master well the, 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 the vowels, it may confuse in the voice when you're doing the pronunciation. But you see, as you've seen in the first one, Chakula, you pronounce the U as Kula. The same is what you do in the Teluji. You say Teluji, not Telaji. Teluji. The same way in the Chakula. Teluji. Yeah, Teluji. So, perfect. Let's go to the next person. Uh, Comrade Leonard, sorry that you are in the hospital. And we, uh, we wish you quick recovery. And we, of course, uh, appreciate your effort to join us. Even when you're in that situation, how are you in right now? Uh, thank you. I'm re I'm recovering. I'm already home, so I feel good hearing from you. I just came back a few minutes ago. Okay, so you might not be able to contribute much. No, I can participate. It is what okay. I have interest for. Okay, can you try to read the the the, the words if you can? Okay. Uh, the letter cha. We have Chakula yes. and Chumba. 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 Yes. Then later Da, we have Feda and Aida. Yes. Later Ga, we have Gali and Gorofa. Perfect. Later Ka, we have Ahamisi and Hadija. Yes. Later Sha, we have Shuka and Shaori. Correct. Right. Letter T, we have Telatini, Teluji. Yeah, that's letter T. T, Telatini, Teluji is letter T. Okay. Thank you for that. You've really done some, something good. <laughs> Thank you for attending. Sister Naira, we wish you quick recovery, Brother Leonard, even as you, you are at home. Yeah, thank you so much for your prayers, all of you, for your wishes. Thank you. You're welcome. Sister Mayra? Um, Chakula, Chumba, Feda, Aida, Gali, Gorofa, Alhamisi, Hadija, Shuka, Shawuri, Telatini, Teluji. Wow. Oh, you've, done, you've done something great. great. Thank you very much. So allow me to give you a brief meaning of these words as you move to the next one. But the meaning is not the key concern at this particular moment. But uh, what is very important at this particular moment is the pronunciation of this word. So the word chakula, it means food. Food. 
So if you're asking somebody to give you food, you say chakula. Chakula is the food. Is the word for food, chakula. Then the word chumba, chumba means a room. Or maybe sitting room or bedroom, you call it chumba. Chumba. So chumba is like a living room or a sitting room or a room where somebody can be. You say chumba. Maybe if you go in a hotel, you'll ask maybe for a room where you can sleep, you'll say chumba. You use the word chumba, but I'll give you other words as you move along how you make that word complete. But the word chumba means a room. And the word feather is money. So feather is money. Of course, other people call it pesa. We'll get what the word pesa, but there's word feather. Feather is money. In some other deep Swahilis, we call it feather. No, no. The word either, it means whichever or either. Yes, the same way you say either in English. It almost means the same word with either. Then the word gali means expensive. So you say maybe this, this whatever you want to buy is very expensive. You say you use the word gali. Gali to tell the person is expensive. Then gorofa, gorofa is a, is like a, 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 a flat or a, or a story building. So if you want, maybe you, you want to build a, a, a story building, you call it a gorofa. Or even a flat, some houses with maybe first floor, second floor, third floor, you call it gorofa. Then alhamisi, alhamisi is Thursday. And the word alhamisi means Thursday. So how do you call the word Thursday of the, the day of the week, alhamisi? And then of course Friday is Ijuma, we'll get to learn that. And we'll get to some when we learn the days of the week. But Allah miss means that's the then Hadija is just the name of a person. We call them Hadija. But they use the word Khadija, we call them Hadija. Hadija is more of name people are given. So Hadija, these are just names. Shuka. Shuka is a what do you call it? And then to add uh, let me see. I'm trying to, we call it shuka. Okay, there's a word shuka, which somebody can tell you, calm down. Like if you are, you, 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 if you are, if you are in a tree, you maybe you've climbed a tree up, somebody will be telling you to calm down. You'll tell you shuka chini. Shuka chini, which means calm down. Come from where you are. You go down. So you say shuka chini. The word shuka is calm down. But also, in women, there's this, that they used to wrap around their waist to, what do you call it? Let me try to look for the right word. Like the Maasai cloth, where most of the time you find women have some things that they wrap around. I don't see if my if my camera will be clear to see if I can be I can be able to share. Can you see my camera? Yeah. There's something like this. This is what women put on their waist. We call it shuka. They always put them on their waist sometimes, or even put them as clothing. If you're in the coast side of Kenya, or either in Zanzibar or in Mombasa, you see most of women wrap them their body with that as a, as a clothing. Then shauri, shauri, we call it either ushauri. Shauri is like guidance, giving somebody some guidance or some advice. But also we can mean sometimes when somebody wants to tell you to take take off your situation, shauri yako, like on your own, on your own, like is a, a shauri yako means something like uh, somebody is telling, okay, you want to do something by force, then be on your own, shauri yako. Or shauri can also mean. Can you give somebody, we call it ushauri, can you give somebody some guidance or some advice, we call it ushauri, but also the word shauri can mean that. Then the word telathini is 30. 30, either 30 or whatever, 30 is in counting 30, in telathini. Then teluji is the snows, where if you are aware of the snows, we call it teluji. So teluji is a snow. So, so those are the key meanings of the words we've read about. Unless there's any other question, then you can move to the key consonants down here. Any question? Or we'll move to the next consonants. Okay, let's move to the next consonant. So the consonants will be discussed in the word M. So consonant M. We know we, we pronounce it in some way. We were saying no. Oh, I cannot hear you to say I don't know why. Leonard has got his hand up. Okay, Leonard, can you speak kindly? Okay, let me put this aside. 
Yeah, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, I have not understood the word shauri, because here people say shauriako in an offensive way. Uh, can it still mean in the same context that you're on your own? Yeah, it means like uh, shauriako, it means like if somebody tries go to tell away. you, uh -huh. it's not even go away. It means that if somebody is trying to tell you to stop doing something, then you insist you want to do it. Then you tell you, you be on your own. It's like be on your okay, own. Okay, you are on your own. Yeah, oh. yeah. It means it's not offensive. It means something like that. You're on your own. Okay. Yeah, that's what they Shari say. Shoryaku. Shoryaku. So it's not offensive. You are, it's, it's like this is a word that comes when somebody is trying to tell you something. Then you then it. this one, Kodru. Yes? Then Teluji, you said it is. Eh? No. The meaning, yes. Teluji. Snow, snow. Song. A snow. During during the rainy seasons, we have some snow. Oh, snow, snow. Yes. Yes, okay. Like A snow. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. But always also you'll be able to, any time of the class, you can be able, because I'll be sharing the screen, you'll be able to type this on Google, say Teluji in English. If you type the correct word, Google will be the right English. But sometimes some of the English might be so deep, or some of the Swahili words might be so deep, but there's general words to be used. Because not Swahili, they, it has different dialects. There are different dialects on how people pronounce the Swahili or use the word Swahili, but there's a general Swahili. That's why we, we have two sets of Swahili. There's Swahili Mufti, and uh, there's, there's, there, there, are two, there are two types of Swahili. But basically, these are normal Swahilis. And those Swahilis that take into consideration the normal dialects. You see how somebody try to configure the Swahili within their dialects. And then there's also some community who are either called Swahili community. The whatever Swahili they speak cannot be a general Swahili for anybody to understand. But the Swahili we teach is a general Swahili. So we take those words and make the general wordings in Swahili. So those are the Swahili we teach. Swahili Mufti and Swahili Sanifu. So they are the two sides of Swahilis. But the general Swahili that we teach is Swahili Sanifu. Most of this Swahili we teach here. So if somebody says Teluji, whatever you are in you are in Tanzania or rather you're in Congo, part of Congo in Kenya, you can be able to understand it. But if you go to Congo, they might have their own inner Swahili that they used to call that language or they used to call that one. So that's how it goes. So this is the general Swahili, which if you speak anywhere, somebody can be able to understand you. So let's go to the consonant N. So we said many Swahili words of course begin with a combination of M. I'll be sharing more, so we'll be going along. Uh, plus, add another consonant. Mm -hmm. uh, like how we, how we were getting some of the words up there. But the letter M is pronounced as its own consonant, almost in the word mm, mm, or mm. That smells good. So, like in the words down here, when you're having M, M is a common word in Swahili. When you say Malimu, Mukulima, Mchungaji, M, M, M is normally used. But now, you want to stress on that M. Only time there's an M in Swahili, you pronounce it alone. You give a pause. You give a pause in that one before you pronounce the next following, the next following consonants that are falling. For example, if we down here, we have the word, the word Toto. So, you don't say Toto. Of course, if you get used to Swahili, you'll be saying Toto. But even as, as I say Toto, you realize that I, I, I do some spacing between mm, toto. So you say mm, toto, mm, toto, or mm, to, mm, to. So the letter M is, you don't say mm, to. You don't combine the, the, the consonant M and the following consonant. You just say mm, to. You pronounce the consonant M. Mm. You say mzazi. Mm, you don't say mzazi. Mm, mzazi. Mm, mzazi. Mm, mzazi. So these are za. You say, like that is zoo, we say mzazi or mze, not mze, brother Glory one say mze, it's mze, ze, the letter A, E is come like A, so you say mze or mkulima, mkulima, or we say the word mji, 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 or mkate. Mm kati. Not mket. Mm kati. So we say that's why that's what we want to stress here. In these pronunciations of the most of the the the, the consonant M, 
we tend to pronounce the consonant N alone without combining it the following consonants. We will say mtoto, mtu, mzazi, mzazi, mze, mkulima, mji, mkate, mkate, mkate. In the combination of the letter M and the letter W at the beginning of word, we pronounce it as one, mwa. Mwa. So we don't put no, we don't pronounce the letter M alone. We combine with that letter W. So they are always pronounced as one word. M and W come as mwa. Mwa. Okay. Mwa. So we'll say mwaka. Mwenga. Mwenza. Mwinsi. Mwinsi. Mwalimu. Mwanafunzi. So when you combine the letter M and the letter W, we tend to pronounce them as one. But when letter M come with other consonant letters, they don't pronounce, they are not pronounced as one. We separate mm -hmm. M and the consonants. So letter M and the letter W, most of the time you find them combined. You say mwa, you pronounce them as one. Mwaka, mwenza, mwenza, mwizi, mwalimu, mwa nafunzi, mwa nafunzi, mwa ka. Mwenza, mwizi, mwa, li, mu. That's how we pronounce those key consonants when they are always combined. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll ask uh, some of us here to read for us, like the word I'm saying. Toto, mtu, mzazi, mze, mkulima, mkulima. Mji, mji, mkate. When you pronounce the words, also combination of M and W, we say mwaka, mwenza, mwizi, mwa, limu, mwa, nafunzi, mwa, nafunzi. So let's start with who is ready. Let me check who is ready. Let's start with Valerie. Are you able to start us off? All right. Total. Yes. No. No. Pause. Za. Z. This is za. Z. Za. Z. Yes. Za. Z. Correct. Z. No, it's not E. It's A. Muza. No, not a ah, a. We say muze ze. Oh, muze. Yeah, muze. Mkulima. 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 Yes. Mji. Mji. Mka. Oh, that one's hard. Mkate. 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 Yeah, mkate. Mkwakate. Mkate. Mwaka. 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 Mwenza. Yes. Mwizi. Mwizi. Mwalimu. Mwalimu. Mwana. Mwana funzi. Yeah, mwana funzi, correct. Mwana funzi. Yeah, you you try to rehearse a bit as you move and I'll try to rehearse to master it. So let's go to uh, the glen you see you are up in the screen. I uh, no, I'm fly, I'm trying to stop mosquito. Okay, okay, okay. Welcome to mosquito. Uh, I, 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 yeah. I'd listen, I'd skip on that. Yeah. Irie is uh, more on the ball. Yeah, I'll come back to you. Let me take other people and I'll come back to you after we finish. You will try to. Yeah. Are you know me? Are you know me? Driving still. Or maybe it's driving. Let's go to Leonard. Leonard? Okay. In silence of M, we pronounce Mtoto. Yeah, Mtoto. We don't silence M. 
we just stress on m as a separate word we don't combine it we say m toto okay m toto yes m to yes mzazi yes mzee yes mzee mkulima yes mkulima mji mji yes mkate mkate correct mwaka mwaka mwenza mwenza yes mwizi yes mwizi mwalimu yes mwalimu wanafunzi wanafunzi correct let's go to mira mtoto yes muntu 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 not muntu there's no n is mutu mutu yeah mutu that's okay but don't don't also bring the u between between the m and t it's just mutu not mutu mutu yeah mutu correct mzazi yes mzazi mze mze mklima 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 yes Mji. Mji, correct. Mkate. Yes, mkate, correct. Mwaka. Yes. Mwenza. Yes. Mwizi. Yes. Mwalimu. Yes. Mwanafunzi. Correct. Brother Gary, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Are you here? Yes, I'm here. Motutu. Not to is Toto. Motu Motutu. Motu. No, no, the word O is goes like the, the word O comes out as O. So it's Mutoto. Mutoto. Yes, Mutoto. Yes, Mototo. just relax it. Then Mutu. Motu. Yes. Motu. <laughs> Mazing Mazia Z. M mm, zazi m mm, zazi mazazi ya mazazi mazi mze mazi no 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 brother gary mze is mze ze not e mze yes mze correct maku ku makulima m mm, don't bring ma say m m m mkulima ma ma ki Mkulima. Mkulima. Ya mkulima. Maji. Mji. Don't bring a. Maji. Mm. The letter M mm is failing to come. Like, have you ever, mm. do the girl like in the word when you get the sweet smell of a food, you say, mmm, mmm, that's good. So the mmm is what you want, mmm. Mm. Mm. Maji. 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 Yes. Makit Makiti. Muka. Mukati. 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 Yeah, Mukati. I know you've got you've got the moon correctly. Mukati. Muaki. Mwaka. Mwa. Mwaka. Mwaka. Mawaz Mawazin. This when Mwenza. 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 Mawen Mawisi. Mui, mui, muizi. Muizi. Mawisi. No, we say mui, not ma. Muizi, mui. Muizi. Ma. Mawisi. No. Okay. What you what you do is that you bring a letter. You you bring a, you introduce a consonant between the letter M and W. But letter M and W is pronounced as mu, mua, mua. So we say mui. Mawazi. Mwizi. 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 Then we go to the letter. Mwizi. The letter, the Mwizi. letter, the following letter is Mwalimu. Can you repeat it? Mwalimu. Mwalimu. Yes. Mwalimu. 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 M
Molimo. Then the last word is Mwana Fumbi. 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 Yeah, let me repeat with you, Brother Glory. Let's start from the first word. I say Mwaka. Mwaka. Can you repeat it? Mwaka. Mwaka. Yes, the second word is Mwenza. Mwenza. Mwaka Mwenza. Then the third word is Mwizi. Mwizi. Mwaka Mwizi. No, just say Mwizi. Mwizi. Mwizi, not N. Mwizi. 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 Yeah. Then the last word, the second last word is Mwalim. Mwalim. Mwazi. Don't repeat the don't repeat the previous one. Just repeat the word I'm saying. Mwalimi. 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 Mwalimu. 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 Yes, Mwalimu, correct. And then the last word is Mwanafumbi. 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 Fumbi. Mwana Fumbi. Yes. Mwana Fumbi. Let's do it for the last time, brother Glory. Let's do it for the last time. Mwana. Funzi. Moana Funzi. Yes, the first word is Mwaka. Mwaka. Mwaka Funzi. No, just go slowly. The first word is Mwaka. Mwaka. Then the second word is Mwenza. Fuenza. Mwaka Mwenza. 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 Then the third word is Mwaka Mwenza. Mwenza. Don't repeat the first word. Just let's repeat the word I'm repeating. Then the third word is Mwizi. 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 Then the third word the, the, the second last word is Mwana. Mwalimu. 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 The fourth word. Mwai. Mwalimu. 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 Yeah, and then the last word is Mwana Funzi. Mwana Funzi. Yeah. Brother Glenn, Mwana Funzi. Let's go back to the previous words, Brother Glenn. The first word is Mutoto. 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 Yes. Then the second word is Mintu. 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 Yes, say Mutu. Mutu. Yeah, Mutu. Yes, Mutu is better. And the third word is Mutu. Mzazi, 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 mzazi. Then we have mze, mze. Mze, mze, mze. Yes, then we have mukulima, mukulima, mukulima. Yes, mukulima. Then the the what, second, what does mukulima mean? I'll give you the meaning. The second last word is mungi, 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 mungi. Or mungi. Use the word mungi. Can I introduce you to say mungi? Mungi, mungi. Yeah, mungi. That will be better for you. Mungi. Then the last word is mukati, mukati. Mukate. Mukate. Thank you. Thank you. You'll, you'll, you'll have to do repeat the pronunciations again. Maybe you go to our audio during our recording, then play the recording so that you can keep on repeating the pronunciation. So the word mutoto means child. A child is called mutoto. A child. Mutoto. A child. A child or a kid. Any young person, Sorry. a kid or a child. Makul. Makul. Mutoto. Mutoto. Mutoto is a child, yeah? Mutoto is a child. Then the word mutu, mutu is a person, somebody, a person. You refer to a person as mutu. A person. Mutu. That refers to a person or somebody or a human being. Mutu. Mutu. Then mzazi means a parent. Mzazi is parent. So you say, you are a parent. You say you are mzazi. You are mzazi. It means you are a parent. You are mzazi. So mzazi is a parent. Then mze is an elder. 
Mkulima is a farmer. Mkulima, a farmer. Brother Glory, are you now together? Mkulima is a farmer. Mkulima. Mkulima is a farmer. A farmer. Then, Mji is a city. When you come mm. to the city, we say Mji. So we can say the city of Dar es Salaam, we say Mji wa Dar es Salaam. The city of Nairobi, Mji wa Nairobi. The city of Kampala, Mji wa Kampala. The city of London, Mji wa London. So Mji is a city. Then Mkate, Mkate is a bread. Okay. The bread we take in the morning, we call it Mkate. So if you go to the shop, maybe you're looking for something, a bread for the morning, you say, give me Mkate. It means Mkate is a bread. So give me bread. Give me Mkate. Then, in the words Mwaka, Mwaka means the year or one year. We say Mwaka. So we we'll say the year 2023. Mwaka. Or 2023. Mwaka. Or 2023. So, you say I'm 27 years old. I'm Mwaka. I'm 27 years old, so Mwaka is years. Then Mwenza is the partner or the counter. Like that who is your next partner, either in relationship, you will always use when you have an in-law, like when when in a family whereby a man marries two wives. So the one wife will call the other wife as Mwenza. We call them Mke Mwenza. It's your co-wife. So it's like a partner, Mwenza. It's like a co, it's like a co somebody with you. Like you are co-founders, you call it Mwenza. So Mwenza is like a partner. But you have a place in Tanzania called Mwanza, which is a city, called Mwanza. But Mwanza is like a partner, you are calling, you are close calling. Then Mwizi, Mwizi is a thief. Anybody who is a thief, we call them Mwizi. So Mwizi is a, is, a, is a word they used to refer to a thief. A thief who steal from you is called Mwizi. Then Mwalimu, is a teacher like I am here. So I'm the teacher. So our teacher is called Mwalimu. That's why some people say Asante Mwalimu. Thank you, teacher. So Mwalimu is a teacher. And then Mwanafunzi is a student. You student. You call yourself Mwanafunzi. Students are called Mwanafunzi or Mwanafunzi. So if you say I'm a student, you say I am Mwanafunzi, which means I am a student. So Mwanafunzi is a student. Mwalimu is a teacher. Hope that is clear. I want us to cover the last part of the end. Before we bring our class down into there, Brother Bill, do you have a question? Uh, just struggling. Um, I, I know it will take you. Similar question, but a statement. Yeah, it will, it will take your time to, to, to master the pronunciation expression, the pronunciation part. But uh, uh -huh. if you repeat listening to the audio, you can be able to pronounce them properly because no pronunciation is a repetition of a word until you master the pronunciation. Because uh, especially some of us in Kenya, in Africa are able to do this because they're close to Bantu. So you find like Brother Leonard can easily pronounce these words. But you realize that somebody who is foreign to this word, the pronunciation will become an issue. And that's the beginning of a sentence, pronouncing it correctly. So our audio here, we learn a lot. So you can keep listening to the, especially the pronunciation part. Even if you get maybe 20 minutes to listen to this pronunciation only per day, you can build it up until we come the next Monday. You can be able to listen well because it's just repetition of the listening. Then you can be able to pronounce them. Any other concern? I want us to cover the letter N before we wind up to start the lessons later. So, letter N, now as I've said, the consonant N can also appear at the beginning of a word before another consonant. Just the same way M can appear, like in the word we are saying in total. So if letter N appears before the beginning of a word, which is very common, like in this first word, we will say D, 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 D. So we say D, 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 D. So there will be a letter coming, D, 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 D. Like in the word indeed, are you seeing how you pronounce the word indeed in English? Indeed. Indeed. So the letter N, if it comes before, we'll say it in D. It will give the same sound in D, like in the same word in English, you say in, indeed, indeed. So in you will say indeed. 
then we'll go ahead and say after this we can say another word will be ndefu ndefu <laughs> ndefu ndizi ndefu and you can also say ndiyo ndiyo yo ndiyo then we say ndugu 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 then we say nja nja say it will come like the one nja nja so we have ndiyo ndefu nja then we'll have in other words we'll have the word ndugu ndugu so we have ndizi ndefu ndiyo ndugu nja nja njia nchi nchi so they have they have mixed the combinations so like when it comes to the word d when letter n follow the word d we say d ndizi ndefu ndiyo ndugu when you follow the letter j we say nja so we say nja nja njia njia we'll repeat it again in our exercise so the combination of the letter n and y is pronounced as one sound like in the word me in the onion or in the word ny in the canyon or canon so we'll say nyumba nyumba ny new nyumba when you say nyani 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 then you say nyumbu nyumbu then you say nyoka nyoka so you have nyumba nyani nyumbu nyoka nyoka finally finally be careful in the combination of the letter n and g in there when it is written without apostrophe it sounds like the word nga for the word finger or in the word longer with the pronounced g but when it is written with the letter apostrophe in it it's become nga it's no longer nga it's nga so you don't say longer you say longer the combination is pronounced as one sound like in the word singer so you realize the word longer, the nga, and the word longer, and the word sing, mm -hmm. sing, mm -hmm. there's difference in pronunciation. Or in the word wrong, you know, say longer, or you know, say wrong, you can't do it wrong. So, for example, in Kisari, you say the word ngu, 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 Then in the other word, you say nga, we don't now say nga, we say ngambo, ngombe, ngusu. Here is ngu, ngozi, ngoma, ngambo, nga, nga is no longer ngu, is nga, ngambo, ngombe, ngofu, ngofu. So those are the different pronunciations. So we'll go back to start with the letter M when it is alone and then follow the word D. So we say in the first one, Ndizi. Ndefu, ndiyo, ndugu, nja, njia, njia, njia. Then in the NY we say nyumba, nyamu, nyamu, loka, loka. Then the letter NG we say nguo, ngozi, ngoma. Mo Nambu Nambu Mombe Nombe Then Mofu 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 So let's start with the brother Leonard Leonard can you start with those the first pronunciations? Okay, let me try Ndizi Ndefu Ndio Ndugu, nja, njia, nchi, nyumba, nyani, nyumbu, nyoka, nguo, 
ngozi ngoma nyambo ngombe ngofu Thank you for that. Let's go to the next person. Sister Ndizi, Ndefu, Ndio, Ndugu, Nash. No, this is Nja, Nja. Nja. You say Nja, Nja. Nja. They don't concentrate to pronounce the letter and just say Nja. Okay, Nja. Yes, then the second one is Njia. Don't pronounce letter and just say Njia. Njia. Yes. Chai. The last, the last one is Nchi. So pronounce it to 14. Nchi. Nchi. Yeah, so in the last one is where you pronounce the letter N properly. But this previous one, you don't bring the M. You don't stress on the M. Yeah. Nyumba. Yes. Nyoni. Yes. Nyumbu. Yes. Nyoka. Correct. Um, Nguo. Say Nguo. Don't pronounce, don't stress on the letter N. Just say Nguo. 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 Then the next one, Ngo. Ngozi. Ngozi, yes. Ngoma. Ngoma. Ngo. Say Ngoma. Ngoma. But don't pronounce N. Just combine it as letter Ngoma. 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 Yeah. Oma. 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 Yes. Uh, mm, um, yeah, that one's done me. This one is na, nambu. Na. Okay, nambu. Not na, don't pronounce the sentence. Say na, na. So you say that again? Can you say na, na? No. Na. Na. Not na. Nambu, nambu, nambu. Nambu, nambu. Nambu. Nambo. No, can you say Nambo. Can you say wrong? Can you pronounce the word wrong? Okay. Just pronounce, no, just, just pronounce the word wrong in English or sin. Can you pronounce it? S pronounce what, sorry? Sing or wrong in English. Rumba. No, sister, mm -hmm. I'm saying if you want to pronounce the word in English, like the word written up there, Sing or wrong? Or oh, wrong? Wrong, something wrong. Are you seeing it up there? Say, but when it is written in NG, the combination is pronounced as one sound, like in the word sing or wrong. Yeah, I so say it's a bit hazy, it's a bit blurry, sir. So, um, yeah. yes. so you say Nambo or Mombe? Can you say the second one? Mombe, Mombe. 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 Yeah, or Ngofu, Ngofu. Ngofu. So you say Ngofu. So Ngofu. This, one, this one you really need to work on because the pronunciation is big yeah. and hard for you. Yeah. Yeah, we'll keep some training on this. It's Ngombe. Okay, yeah. Ngombe. I'll need to work on that one. Yeah. Ngambo, Ngombe, Ngofu. Ngambo, Ngombe, Ngofu. Ngambo, Ngombe, Ngofu. Ngambo, Ngombe, Ngofu. Ngambo, Indeed, yes, Nani. Yes. Nambo. Hmm? Nyoka. Yes. Nguo. Yes. Ngozi. Ngoma. Ngambo. Ngombe. 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 Ngofu. That's correct. Brother Gary? No, no, busy. No, no, busy. No, busy. Let me pronounce it. You will pronounce it after me. So you say busy. Busy. 
Yes, and then you say ndefu. Ifo. Ndefu. Ni ndefu. Then ni, you say uh, dio. No, dio. Brother Gregory, allow me pronounce and you, you follow so that you can... Uh, okay. So, I so, I, then you follow. so the first one is ndizi, ndizi. Ndizi. Then the second one is ndefu. Ndefu. Then the third one is dio. Dio. And the fourth one is Dugu. Nungu. Ndu, Ndugu, Ndugu. Ndungu. And the fourth, the, the other one is Nja. 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 The other one is Nja. Don't pronounce your N. Don't try to stop pronouncing Nja. Yeah. Nja. 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 Nunchi. No, don't say nunchi. nunchi. Don't say nun. Just say nunchi. 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 Yes. nunchi. 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 Then, let's go down here. This one is nyumba. Nyumba. Then nyani. Nyani. Then nyumbu. 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 Then nyoka. Nyoka. Nyoka, nyoka, nyoka. Nyoka, Yes, the other one is nguo, nguo. Nyongo. Nguo, nguo, nguo. Nyongo. Don't bring the letter N. Don't try to, don't struggle to bring the letter N in pronunciation. Just say nguo, nguo. Nyongo. Nyongo. Go, 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 Nyombo. Don't try to pronounce N. Just say ngo, ngombe. Ngombe. Then ngofu, ngofu. Ngofu. Yeah, ngofu. Ngofu. Yeah, so also you, you have to work on this. I'm not listening back to it. It might help. Yeah, I listen to it as I'm trying to push you slowly. It will help you now when you repeat it continuously. So the word ndizi, ndizi is banana. That's how we say banana. Yeah, that's how we say banana. Then the word de, defu, defu means long. Something is very long or it is a long road. You say defu. You come with the word. Long you get road. It. Nah, long road. But there's a word which will be devu. Instead of fu, it will be v. So it will be devu. Devu means beards or beards. You say ndevu, not ndevu now. So ndevu is long, but ndevu with a v is beards. Then we have the word ndevu. Ndevu means a response. So somebody asks you, is this okay? You say yes. So ndevu is yes. Ndevu is yes. Then ndugu is brother. So you want to call me Brother Pigeon, you say Ndugu, Pigeon, Ndugu, his brother. Okay. Ndugu. Then the word Nja is hunger. Maybe if somebody hasn't eaten, they're feeling more hungry, you say Nja. Nja. So Nja is hunger out of not eating food or feeling like you don't have food in your body, you say Nja. But Nja, Nja is a path or a road. So which road do you want? Which road do you want to follow? Which path do you want to follow? You say njia. The path or road is called njia. Njia. Then nchi is a country. Nchi. So for example, I'll say nchi ya Kenya, which means Kenya is a country. Which country are you in? Nchi. So nchi is a country. A reference for the word country. Then nyumba. Nyumba. Nyumba is house. So do you have your house or you build your house, you call your house Nyumba. So Nyumba, Nyumba is a reference for a house. 
Nyani is monkey. Nyani, monkey. Nyundu is like a pot. A big pot. Nyundu. Nyoka. Nyoka is a snake. So this is how we call snake in Swahili. Nyoka. Nguo. The first word is nguo. Nguo is a cloth. So the cloth you're putting on. We call them nguo. Nguo. Ngozi is a skin. Ngozi. So skin is called ngozi. Either the skin of a person, the skin of an animal, any skin, we call it ngozi. Ngoma is like a, it's like music. Music. If like you are asking, I want to get, can you play for me music, like you do bass music, you say, can you play for me ngoma, you are like you do ngoma, you are like you do so ngoma is like music or a song. But song is called wimbo. So music is the ngoma. Music, ngoma. But song is wimbo. That is another letter. Then ngambo, ngambo is abroad. Like where if somebody is outside Kenyan diaspora, we call them ngambo. So you can say you want to go to, I want to go, I want to go ngambo. It means I want to go abroad. So ngambo is abroad or the other side. Maybe, for example, if you are in a place where there's a river that separates you, so the other side the of river, river, the other side of that river, you call it Ngambo, which means the other side, the, the, the other side. But most of the time, we use the word Ngambo to mean somebody either, if you go abroad, we call it Ngambo. Or if you go in overseas, we call it Ngambo. Or if you're crossing to the other side of the river, we say Ngambo, Ngambo Hili, that other side, Ngambo. Then Ngombe is a, is a, is a, is a cow. A cow, simply the cow at home, they call it ngombe. Then mofu is a is a, is a portion of a bread. Some 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 is like a is like a bread a baked bread at home. We call it mofu. There's there's a traditional bread called mofu, but it can also it mean another word apart from that bread, which uh, I'll check for you. Another word it means, but basically it's always used for uh, for 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 a bread. In case you have any question, let me know. Um, Brother Pigeon, what does the word Nyumbu mean again? Nyumbu. Nyumbu, Nyumbu, Nyumbu is like a, it may be mean something like a, let me, let me give you the right one. It's basically, let me get the word. It's, it's like something torn off or up. In other, in other, so in the they refer to it something like a, like you see something like a traditional pot yeah so the hole within the traditional pot of course the traditional pot is called nyungu but it also nyungu can also mean something that is worn or torn off okay something like thank it's left over something that is torn off thank you and then uh, any other question So nyumbu, yes, nyumbu in English can also mean English can nyumbu in English can also translate to something like a moon. Do you know a moon? An animal, a moon. We call it moon. Yes. Yeah, it can also, yeah, it can also mean the same in English. But mm. this one, this one is a rare English to be used, a rare soil to be used because it's very hard to find such animal in African normal setup. Ambune. Is that okay? Yeah. Yes, thank you. Yes, so you can either use it to, in normal setup, in normal African setup, Nyumbu can either means buffalo, because that is the close animal we have. So you can use the word Nyumbu to refer to a buffalo or a wild beast. But in another side, you can, if, if in English, in another side, they use it to refer to the word like a moon. But to the African setup, we call it buffalo or anything like wild beast. That's what you use for. Any other question? But today's class is becoming a bit heavy as we move along. And therefore, you need to listen much of these 
recordings later to the own time so that you can master mm -hmm. the pronunciations because it's becoming a bit heavy because we are trying not to combine the words as you move from the simple words to more complex words. Yeah. Yeah. So keep on repeating these audios a bit so that you can be able to master the pronunciation. So at this particular moment, we are so much concerned on the pronunciations. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. So if there is no any other concern, maybe we'll bring our class to an end. I know we've, we've moved 30 minutes past, but we wanted us also to cover the consonant one so that in our next class, we'll now be moving straight to normal lessons, which we should be starting with from the lesson one lesson one in the in the vocabulary so we haven't been starting lesson we were just starting first of all to understand the vowels and the consonants which are a very basic need and a very basic uh, requirements for you to even to move to the lessons because if you don't have the right pronunciations you're not pronounce now these vocabularies like the word carry if you don't know the right words so as we now we'll be moving to now complete vocabularies from Haribo, Abergami, Ujambo. So we'll be moving there, but at least now we've known the verbs and we've known also the consonants. So moving forward, we want to be that hard, but at least those are very basic requirements in order for you to master anything as you move forward, because you cannot actually understand the vocabularies if you don't know how to pronounce them. If you pronounce them wrongly, nobody can understand you. That's why it was very important to start there. So is there any other concern? This recording will be ready in the next 30 minutes and it will be uploaded before an hour. So you can start listening to it anytime from tomorrow or at midnight. We'll have it on our YouTube and I'll share the link so you can be able to listen at it. And that's the reason why we take it to YouTube also that when you download it, it becomes less less heavier in terms of the story. It becomes less than if you get it raw, because the raw can be so huge for you. And you can share it anywhere. So is there any concern? So let me go on then basically to what we've learned today. So what we've learned today, we've learned the combinations of the consonant, the letter cha, the, ga, ka, sha, and pa. We've also learned, uh, for example, the letter cha in the word chakula, chumba, feather, gaida, gali, gorofa, alhamisi, halige, chuka, shauri, teratini, teluji. Then we've also learned the letter m or m. And like if it goes with another consonant, you'll be saying Mtoto, Mtu, Mzazi, Mze, Mkulima, Mji, Mkate. We've also learned the letter M, when you combine the letter W, you can use the letter Mwa, Mwa. You say Mwaka, Mwenza, Mwizi, Mwalimu, Mwanafunza. And we've also learned the letter N, consonant N. Mze, Ndizi, Ndefu, Ndiyo, Ndugu, Njaa, Njia, Mchi. And you also learn the letter N when command the letter Y will be saying like Numbu Nyoka. And you've learned also the letter N when combine the letter G will be saying like Ngulu, Ngozi, Ngoma, Ngambu, Ngombe, Ngosu. So thank you very much for your attendance today. And we are looking forward to us having more classes uh, next week as we now start the proper lessons from lesson one. Is there any other Serious concern before we end it. It was fun. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, so let's keep in touch. It may be very hard, but don't give up along the way. Uh, that's how we have to build it. The, the beginning is always hard, but as we move along, it becomes easier. Okay. So thank you very much for that. If there's no any other concern, let me stop the